Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be integrating an exponential function with radicals. In other words, we're going to integrate e to the power square root of x dx. And I'll be presenting two or three methods, even though not all methods will be complete. But we'll make an attempt, okay? So let's start with the first method. Now, we have this integral, e to the power square root of x dx. And I want to replace e to the power square root of x with u. I want to use u substitution. So let's go ahead and replace this with u and then see what the implications are. So we have u equals e to the power square root of x. And then from here we have to find du because when you change the variable, you also have to find the d of that variable. So du is going to be the derivative of e to the power square root of x with respect to x, which is e to the power square root of x times the derivative of the inside from the chain rule, which is the derivative of the square root of x, which is 1 over 2 square root of x. By the way, this comes from the fact that x to the power 1 half, you bring it to the front, so on and so forth. I don't want to get into the details too much, but that's the derivative of the square root of x. And then, of course, at the end, we have to multiply by dx. If you divide both sides by dx, you get du over dx, which is the derivative of u with respect to x. Make sense? That's how we find the du. So this looks good, but the problem is we don't have that. So we have u, but we don't have du. But we do have, um, we kind of have partial du. What, what, what do I mean by that? I can go ahead and put these two together, this one and this one, and make the whole thing. So we can kind of write it this way, du equals e to the power of square root of x times dx times 1 over 2 root x. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides by this. And then this is going to cancel out, and we're going to get something like this. This doesn't give us du directly, but at least we get something like this, e to the power of square root of x dx equals 2 square root of x du. Now, if I could replace square root of x with something in terms of u, then we'll be in good shape because on the right-hand side, everything needs to be in terms of u. See, on the left, everything is in terms of x. That's why. But what is the relationship between x and u? e to the power of square root of x is u. So let's take a look at that. Can I find square root of x from here? Absolutely. You can go ahead and ln both sides, right? So kind of like put an ln on both sides, ln this, ln that. And when you move this to the front, you're going to get square root of x, ln e is 1, equals ln u. So I can kind of replace square root of x with that, and that's going to give me the following. e to the power square root of x dx equals 2 times ln u du. Awesome. So we can kind of go ahead and replace you know, e to the power square root of x dx with that. But we called, we said that, okay, u is equal to e to the power square root of x. What am I going to replace it with, right? My integral is e to the power square root of x dx. I don't care about that because all I have to do is use this because that pretty much takes care of everything. So let's go ahead and replace that with 2 ln u du. And then from here, we can actually use integration by parts. But you know what would be helpful? If I did use another expression instead of u, like maybe use t. How about write this as 2 times ln t dt. And then I'm going to go ahead and use... Actually, I can take care of this by using the di method. Let's go ahead and do that. Change my mind. Di method works as follows. So we're going to go ahead and make two columns. Di. D is the derivative. I is the integration. So we're going to pick among these two things. By the way, 2 is a constant, so we don't have to worry about it. But ln u and du, one of these should be easy to di differentiate and the other should be easy to integrate. But once you find out which one is d, the rest is i. But wait a minute, we don't really have anything that's multiplied by ln u, right? So if d has to be ln u, which looks like it because ln u is hard to integrate, obviously, right? So let's go ahead and pick this ln u as the d. And then what am I going to put for i? I'm just going to put 1 because ln u is multiplied by 1. I could also use a 2. I guess that would work. Let's try that. And then 
you see that product is what I have. And then we can kind of differentiate this. We get 1 over u. And then if you integrate this, you're going to get 2u. And then if you differentiate this, negative 1 over u squared. So the problem is, this is not going to work because nothing disappears. Something has to disappear, so I can't use this. That's why I have to go back here and kind of use maybe a different variable. How about t? Okay. And since we said u is equal to square root of x, now we know, actually not that case, u is equal to e to the power of square root of x, so t is going to be this time e to the power of square root of x. Make sense? So that's the variable, pretend that I used t all the time. Now, we can go ahead and, and this is going to be dt, of course. Now, how do we solve this problem by using IBP, which is integration by parts? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and call this u, and we're going to call this dv. And then u is equal to ln t. Then from here, du is going to be 1 over t dt. And if dv is dt, then v is just going to be t. If you integrate both sides, you're going to get v equals t. Don't worry about the constant because we'll put that at the end. And now what I'm supposed to do is multiply u times v and v times du. And then, of course, put a minus sign here, right? uv, so in other words, the integral of u dv is uv minus the integral of v du. And this comes from the product rule for differentiation. Now let's go ahead and write that down. We have a 2 on the outside, don't forget that. uv, which is t ln t, minus v du. So we're going to multiply t times 1 over t dt, and we're going to integrate this. And of course, there's going to be a constant at the very end. Cross out the t's, we get integral of dt, which is t. So this becomes 2 times t ln t minus t. And then at the end, we're going to put our constant. But what is t? t is e to the power square root of x. So it's going to be e to the power square root of x times ln e to the power square root of x minus e to the power square root of x and then plus c. But ln e to the power square root of x is the same thing as square root of x as long as it's well defined, right? Square root of x times e to the power square root of x minus e to the power square root of x plus c. You could also factor out e to the power square root of x, but that's not super duper important. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. The second method uh, uses a different u substitution and it's kind of more direct. So, and the good part is we can actually use the di method with this one. So I'm going to call this time this one u. So u equals square root of x. Good. And then from here, u squared equals x and 2u du is going to be dx. So I basically differentiate both sides. So I'm going to replace square root of x with u and then dx with 2u du. If it's your birthday, by the way, happy birthday to you. Okay, now we have a 2. We can take it outside and then u, e to the u, du. Now we can go ahead and use the di method, which is going to work nicely here, di. So d is basically something easy to differentiate and i is something easy to integrate but we want d to disappear because d for disappear right so we'll start with u and here we're going to put the eu right e to the u and then what we want to do is we, we, we want to differentiate the first column like differentiate this and differentiate that until you get a zero and now put the plus minus signs like this this is a plus but it doesn't matter we're not going to use it and then if you integrate this every time you're going to get e to the u e to the u by the way we're integrating with respect to the variable which is u in this case and then we kind of uh, do a little bit of crisscross which is like matrices and then this becomes two times u e to the u minus one times e to the u plus c okay make sense because this minus sign is going to multiply 1 by e to the u, and it's going to be a negative. And if you go back, substitute, and remember u was square root of x this time. So you're going to get the exact same thing, square root of x times e to the power of square root of x minus e to the power of square root of x. All of that is divided by, multiply by 2, and we add the c at the end. And this is the integral of e to the power of square root of x dx. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.